AI experiences need data from our APIs to power magic moments. MCP servers are quickly becoming the standard for how AI will speak with our APIs. But writing tool code for every API we have quickly becomes overwhelming or completely unmanageable. We need an abstraction layer between AI and our APIs where LMs don't waste time figuring out how to chain multiple endpoints together with tools. GraphQL is perfect for this. It lets the AI simply declare what data it needs in a single query, while the GraphQL layer handles all the complex orchestration behind the scenes. We recently released the Apollo MCP server, an MCP server to expose predefined set of GraphQL operations as MCP tools with optional introspection to allow an LLM to generate and execute its own ad hoc operations. In this video, we're going to set up the Apollo MCP server from its source repository and explore how we can configure it. First, we'll clone the GitHub repository. With the repository cloned, we'll need to change into that folder and build the project with Cargo. The Apollo MCP server is written in Rust and requires you to have Rust installed to build it from source. We also ship the built binaries to Docker and make them available through the Apollo CLI rover. Now we have the binaries built. We can invoke the binary directly to see the configuration options. The Apollo MCP server supports two transport types, standard input output and server side events. First, let's explore the standard input output transport using the MCP inspector tool. We need to add our command which is going to be the full path to the binary we just built. Next, we'll add our argument options. For this video, we're going to use the space devs example in the GraphQL space devs folder. We'll set the directory path to that folder. We'll provide the GraphQL schema as an argument option along with the endpoint to the GraphQL API. Last, we need to provide the operations that we want to use as MCP tools in the argument. I've pasted in the operations for this example. Now we can connect the MCP inspector and see our tools listed. The descriptions for each tool are generated for us based on the documentation in the schema and the defined return types. But we can override the description by writing a comment at the top of the GraphQL operation, as we've done for the search upcoming launches. We can also add the introspection option to our arguments to include a tool that can provide guided context to our API schema to the LLM, along with a general purpose execute tool for running dynamic GraphQL operations. Most assistant UIs support standard input output transport, but some also support server side events. We can run the Apollo MCP server in another terminal window using the SSE port option, and then configure MCP inspector for our running endpoint. After we've defined the operation we want to use as MCP tools, we can configure our assistant UI to use our MCP server. I'm using Claude Desktop and configuring it for the standard input output transport. We can verify the tools are running in the UI here. Now we can ask a question like, can you tell me about an upcoming launches in California? And the LLM will be able to use our tools to answer the question. What's really nice about this is that even when a tool search results return zero, the LLM can use other information to enrich that request, like rerunning the same tool with Vandenberg as a search term. And that's the Apollo MCP server, set up with the example in the repository using standard input and output and server-side event transport types. Now you have another MCP server you can experiment with next time you're building your next assistant. I can't wait to see what you build.